Oh yeah, I can feel it moving. So I might just do that by hand too. Oh yeah, it's moving, it's moving good. Yeah, that bearing must have not been too bad then. Made a little bit of a sound, but that could have been the wheel being rusty too. But you can hear it pressing a little. Seems like we're almost through now. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's coming out nice. Let's try it just the fast way now it's working pretty good. There we go. Well done. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so this is that end. And yes, this looks pretty good. It's not bad actually. So, there is a little hole here. It's really dirty. You can't really see it. But it's supposed to be open. So that in the event of your pump housing seal to start, when that, if your seal starts leaking, you want the coolant to come out here and not push through the bearing. If it pushes through the bearing, it'll rust out and then the pump will go. Now, we'll have to clean that hole real good. But I can see right up there. Okay, so I'll have to pull that seal out. Let's see what we found here. Yeah, it was it was not the greatest anymore. There's definitely water coming in. It's pretty rusty. And the bearing looks like it got a bit hot too at some point. So now, the only challenge we have left here is pressing... I don't even want to touch the shaft. It's not doing it anyway. This shaft... Quite a bit shorter, I guess, because the new pump wheel is thinner. So that's kind of where this thing sits, something like this. So we'll have to mount that in. First, we gotta get this bad boy out. Let's give that a shot. Okay, shoot them all 